A reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to the earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In, In the, the sight, sight of, of the angels, angels I, will I will sing, sing your, your praises, praises Lord. Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the, In the sight presence of the, of the angels, angels, I will, I will sing, sing your, your praises, praises Lord. Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the, In sight, the sight of, of the, the angels, angels, I will, I will sing, sing your, your praises, praises Lord. Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, Great is the glory of the Lord. In the, In the sight, sight of, of the, the angels, angels I, will I will sing your, your praises, praises, Lord. Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> I am reckoning that nobody here has specifically received a visit of healing from the Archangel Raphael, nor a message of good news and challenge from the Archangel Gabriel, nor have we been defended specifically by the Archangel Michael in any kind of way in which we read about it in the scriptures. Am I safe in assuming that? I think probably I am. Nevertheless, nevertheless, there are so many ways in which, if we look back in retrospect, we can see that there was a hand of spiritual healing and consolation in our hearts, which is the touch of God through Raphael. And we can see those times when we have been strongly tempted and opposed in our faith walk and been empowered by the touch of God through the angel Michael. And we know that the good news has been brought to us by God through the angel Gabriel. So there are many, many ways in which indirectly, you might say, 
The angelic powers bless us. Even more importantly for us today, I think, we can understand that there are times when God wishes to use us also as his angels. In the office of readings today, St. Gregory the Great talks about how all spirits are spirits, but they become angels when they have got a mission. And therefore, we also can become angels when we have a mission given us by God, which may, we may not even understand, to somebody else. And there is sometimes no greater healing than simply a hug. Sometimes there is no greater message to be delivered to someone than, I love you. And sometimes there is no more important way of strengthening someone else than simply by holding their hand and standing shoulder to shoulder with them. And these are things that we can do. And when we have the eyes to see, the eyes of the heart, we can recognize those times. We recognize them in ourselves with the need that we have sometimes. We can recognize them in others. And when so far we do recognize and then step out, we become God's angelic messengers as well. And so we can give thanks to God for the people who have done this in our lives. And we can also ask God to help us to be sensitive to the others in our lives for whom we can do that same ministry. Let us stand and pray.